Hello folks, welcome to Net Cruiser Cars. I'm just standing here in my garage right now because I gotta go check the oil in my car. I just wanna see how much oil level is left in it because I'm gonna take it to the dealership for its first oil change tomorrow. I've just approached over 12,000 kilometers. You're supposed to change every 15,000 kilometers, but I do wanna do it early. I'm gonna go on a trip this weekend. It's also, it's getting cold out pretty quick, so I'm gonna get my winter tires put on. I'm also taking it to the dealership because I have two warranty things I wanna have looked at. My center cubby is slightly misaligned and my rear brakes have a little bit of extra scoring on the rotors. I wanna have them looked at and see if that could also be a warranty uh, fix up. I'm just gonna quicker grab a quick shop towel and we'll go out and we'll check the oil. The car's been sitting, so I just wanna uh, check what's the oil level like. Pop the hood. In all of my time owning this car, I have not yet once checked the oil level, so let's take a look at that. Oh, it's tight. Okay, how much do we have? Seems like we're right in the middle of the cross hatch. Actually, it seems pretty good. I think we're right in the good zone. So typically, top of the hatch is high level, bottom of the hatch is low level, and it seems like we're right in the middle. Now, I never did check how much oil was in this car from its initial factory fill, but yeah, we're right in the middle, so we're good there. So I'm gonna take it to the dealership tomorrow, and we'll get that oil replaced, and uh, I'll show you some of the other things that we're gonna have looked at. Rotors, it may be hard to tell here, but there's quite a bit of scoring going on on these rear rotors, and I wanna see if, uh, if they're willing to replace these. Uh, factory warranty on the rotors is one year, 20,000 kilometers, and I'm at about, uh, and I'm at about 10 months right now, and 12,000 kilometers. The other thing is in the center console, this center cubby, when it's closed, this side is flush, but this side is kind of sunken in, it's a very minor thing. Shouldn't have that gap like that. So I'm gonna see if they'll align this door properly. It works totally fine. It doesn't bind up or anything. So I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to have them even touch it because it's all piano gloss black and it'll scratch super easily. But from this type of an angle, you can see here that that's not aligned. It does kind of bug me a little bit. So we'll see if we can get that aligned a little bit better. And then while I'm in there, I'm going to have them put my winter tires on because might as well, I'll just take my tires and I'll do the swap over. I got to go for a quick drive, get the mail. I'll come back, pull back in the garage and we'll load the tires in. Bit of a miserable rainy day. Hopefully tomorrow's a little bit nicer. I'm going on this little run to check the mail. The other thing I want to talk about is Golf Mark 8. I got a couple of opinions about it that we should likely talk about. All right, I've just got a couple minutes. I got to grab the mail before they close. I'll come back and we'll talk about Mark 8 real quick. I'm back. Mark 8. Mark 8 is going to be officially unveiled on October 24th, which is in just two days from when I'm filming this video. Now we've seen leaks for the past few months and I haven't made any video on it and I haven't really shown any pictures of it other than an old uh, camouflage photo that I found many months ago of one going through McDonald's drive through But it, I'm, I'm not too keen on the styling choices they're going with. When you look at what they're doing, it doesn't really match the brand identity of all the other new Volkswagens where they have big grills and big headlights. The new Mark 8 is going to be very much more thinly lighted and the grill itself is getting to be quite a bit thinner as well. So it looks like the car is going to grow a bit as well. Uh, it's going to get some slightly longer overhangs. It's going to get some crisper, tighter body lines as well as the, the lighting is what's gonna change the most where it's gonna be more of a kind of a squinty-eyed front end. To me, it almost looks more like a Japanese or a Korean style versus the Germans. And initially, initial impression is I don't really like the look of it very much. And it'll be a while before we see a Golf R. I'm sitting in a Mark 7.5 Golf R right now. And this vehicle is gonna skip a year. There is not going to be a 2020 Golf R. It will not come out until 2021, and 2021 will be when it's a Mark 8. There's some other things that are going to change with the interior. This one being a Mark 
7.5. I did get the digital dashboard display and I've got a pretty nice big infotainment screen here. But what they're doing is they're gonna move this up. So it's gonna be pretty much screen is gonna be all along the top area here and it's gonna be screen over here. One of the things they're gonna be doing to this vehicle in the new Golf Mark 8 is they're gonna be getting rid of all physical buttons, which I do not agree with. In the new Porsches on the 2019 and 2020 Porsches, they got rid of all of the physical buttons and they went to all glossy black plastic touch panels. Very much like this is flanking the radio here. All the buttons are gonna be touch like that, which maybe looks nice in theory, but is in use when it's like minus 20, minus 30 out, these don't work. Uh, if you have gloves on. So I don't really like that. Even the light switch itself is gonna turn into a touch panel. So it's gonna be, screens are raised, all touch buttons everywhere, and then power plant wise, we haven't heard what the engines are gonna be like, but what they are gonna be doing is adding a mild hybridization where most of the electronical systems are gonna be uh, 48 volt, uh, and it's gonna have a recuperating energy system. So we'll learn more about that soon. And uh, we'll have to see in a couple days what additional news we find out about them. In the meantime, I gotta go back to the house, gonna load in my winter tires, and then take this car to the dealership tomorrow and get the service done. Since it's pouring rain out right now, I just backed my car in because uh, I gotta load up my tires. This will be the last time you see the Pretorias for a while, so say goodbye to summer mode. A little unfortunate that I have to take them off so early because they are beautiful, but I did want to uh, Make sure that I have my winters on before it gets too cold out. The thing, look at the how well the ceramic coating is holding up. It's pretty good. This is one coat of ceramic coating plus bead maker. One thing I did notice though is that the rear hatch, where all of the dirt collects back here because it's your vacuum zone, the ceramic coating wore away quicker on the back end. So you see how my rear hatch has almost no beading on it? I think that's very odd where all of the other panels are beading great but something I will be doing from now on is when I'm treating any kind of a hatchback vehicle, I will be adding an extra coat on that rear hatch because it seems so far like the rear end is a thing that's lost its coating. Got lots of beading everywhere. Except for the rear hatch. I need to get my winters loaded in. My winters are the Nokian WRG4s, all weathers. These can be run all year long. A pretty good tread pattern. They look very winterish, but this is a special rubber compound that does not wear out in the heat. So you don't have to rush to get them off when it starts to warm up, which is nice. Got to get these loaded in. So I've got them on these uh, 17 inch wheels. Nice thing about hatchback is that <laughs> you got tons of room to load in tires so I can set four tires in there pretty easily. That's it, load it up, ready to rock and roll. All you have to do is fit four tires in is to take the partial shelf out because the, uh, the fourth tire just sits up a little higher because of the interior wheel wells. That's about the only thing you have to do. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you're new around here, subscribe. If you wanna to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.